Good morning, Year Ones, and welcome to another week of home learning. This is the book that we're going to use to help inspire our English work this week. It's called The Snail and the Whale by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. You might already know the story, or it might be a new one for you. For me, it's one of my favourites because I really like the characters, the setting and the fact that it rhymes. So let's get started. The Snail and the Whale. This is a tale of a tiny snail and a great big grey blue humpback whale. This is a rock as black as soot and this is a snail with an itchy foot. The sea snail slithered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships in the dock. And as she gazed, she sniffed and sighed. The sea is deep and the world is wide. How I long to sail, said the tiny snail. Now let's look at the picture. Look, the boat is called the Green Queen. Spot a familiar cat there. And did you spot him? There he is, our tiny snail. These are the other snails in the flock who all stuck tight to the smooth black rock and said to the snail with the itchy foot, Be quiet, don't wriggle, sit still, stay put. But the tiny sea snail sighed and sniffed, then cried, I've got it, I'll hitch a lift. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail that looped and curled and said, Lift wanted around the world. It's called the Pride of Glasgow. And there's our little snail. Wow, what a big whale. This is the whale who came one night when the tide was high and the stars were bright. A humpback whale, immensely long, who sang to the snail a wonderful song of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves. And this is the tale of the humpback whale. He held it out of the starlit sea and said to the snail, Come sail with me. Oh, there he is, getting on the snail, getting on the whale. <laughs> I wonder where the snail's going to go. Pause the video now and talk to your grown up about where you think they're going to go first. Okay, hope you've come up with an idea of where they might go. Let's have a look together. Ooh. This is the sea, so wild and free, that carried the whale and the snail on his tail. To towering icebergs and far off lands. Wow, looks so cold.
with fiery mountains and golden sands. Where are they now? Wow, dolphins, parrots, <gasps> even flying fish. Turtle. What other animals can you spot in the picture? There's a monkey. These are the waves that arched and crashed, that foamed and frolicked and sprayed and splashed. The tiny snail on the tail of the whale. These are the caves beneath the waves where stripy fish with feathery fins and sharks with hideous toothy grins swam round the whale and the snail on his tail. Look at those sharks, wow. And our snail, looking very brave there under the sea. This is the sky, so vast and high, sometimes sunny and blue and warm, sometimes filled with a thunderstorm, with zigzag lightning, flashing and frightening, the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. Oh, what a storm to be in very brave and holding on very tightly. How do you feel when there's a storm? Pause the video now and talk to your grown-up about how you feel when you hear a storm outside. Let's see where they are now. And she gazed at the sky, the sea, the land, the waves and the caves and the golden sand. She gazed and gazed, amazed by it all. And she said to the whale, I feel so small. Wow. How would you feel if you were the snail on the whale's tail? Pause the video now and tell your grown up how you'd feel. But then came the day, the whale lost his way. These are the speedboats running a race, zigging and zooming all over the place, upsetting the whale with their ear-splitting roar, making him swim too close to the shore. Oh dear, there's lots of people in the sea there. That could be very scary for a whale, all those boats whizzing past. Pause the video now and try and predict what will happen next in the story. What's going to happen to our whale? Let's see. Oh, there he is. He's on the beach. This is the tide slipping away. Oh no. And this is the whale lying beached in a bay. Quick, off the sand, back to sea, cried the snail. I can't move on land, I'm too big, moaned the whale. The snail felt helpless and terribly small. Then, I've got it, she cried and started to crawl. I must not fail said the tiny snail. Oh, there she goes. Let's have a look at the picture again. Wow, so the snail has had an idea 
and she's crawling us crawling up somewhere what do you think the snail's idea is how is she go how is she going to help the whale pause the video now and talk to your grown up about how you think she's going to help the whale get off the beach okay let's find out how she helps This is the bell on the school in the bay, ringing the children in from their play. This is the teacher holding her chalk, telling the class, sit straight, don't talk. This is the board as black as soot. And this is the snail with the itchy foot. A snail, a snail. The teacher turns pale. Look, say the children, it's leaving a trail. This is the trail of the tiny snail. A silvery trail saying, save the whale. Wow. How would you feel if you come into our classroom and see that note left on our board. Save the whale. What do you think the children should do next? Let's see. These are the children running from school, fetching the firemen, digging a pool. Squirting and spraying to keep the whale cool. Wow, you can see all the work they're doing. Trying to help keep the whale wet. I think the whale is starting to smile there. I wonder if the whale's starting to feel relieved or happy that he's been rescued. This is the tide coming into the bay. And these are village, the villagers shouting hooray as the whale and the snail travel safely away. Oh, look, there she is, back on his back. They're all waving goodbye. Back to the dock and the flock on the rock who said, how time's flown and haven't you grown? Oh, there are her snail friends. And the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves, and of how the snail, so small and frail, with her looping, curling, silvery trail, saved the life of the humpback whale. Then the humpback whale held out his tail, and on crawled snail, after snail, after snail. Oh, okay. And they sang to the sea as they all set sail on the tail of the grey blue humpback whale. Oh. The end. Okay, isn't that a lovely story? I hope you enjoyed the story. I wonder what your favourite part was. I really hope you enjoyed listening to the story. Here's your task for today to go with the story. You're going to be writing a book review of the snail and the whale. So as you can see here on the screen, we've got space for you to write the book title. 
the author, so the person who wrote the book, the illustrator, so the person who drew the pictures, so maybe look up their names again uh, on the internet or maybe you've got the book at home. Who are the main characters? Sure, you know who they are. What is the story about? So maybe in two sentences, you can tell me what the story is all about. The next question is, what is your favourite part and why? So that will be very personal to you. What's your favourite part? Mm. I'm going to think about what mine is. I think my favourite part is when the whale gets rescued because everyone is being so kind to him and he looks much happier. Finally, I've given you a little box to draw your favourite part. And at the bottom, some useful words I've put in because, whale, snail, ocean and journal. Now, when you're doing your super sentences, don't forget to use your capital letters, clear finger spaces, neat letters leading in and leading out like we do in our handwriting lessons and full stops at the end of the sentence. Now, I really recommend, if you can, looking at BBC iPlayer if you'd like to see the story again or just watch the video again. Uh, good luck with your task today and we look forward to seeing your work later.